Hey guys, and welcome back to the last episode of the Not So Very Challenge. Hey guys, and welcome back. So as I said, we are doing the last episode of this generation. So we're finalizing the Min Gen, and I am pretty excited to get it done with, and I'm excited to start on a new Let's Play until we start the second season of the Natsuberry. However, since I will be going on a trip, I will be leaving that for a little later. That's all for another time. <laughs> Let's focus on finishing this. Before I start, start talking and talking because I know myself. <laughs> I just want to show you something that happened when I was preparing this, okay? Pepper got alien abducted and I finally had it happen. It just happened naturally, which I'm really happy about because I wanted to cheat for it, but it wasn't necessary, which is always really nice. I wasn't there to record it, but I have some pictures that I'm, you know, showing you right now. Pepper got a moodlet from that and oh, oh, something else happened as well. Okay, so the first thing that happened was Pepper met aliens. I've never imagined the universe had such mysteries. The stars seem so much brighter to me now. I'm so sorry, they started lighting fireworks right as I'm recording. Pepper also discovered the Platinum Gym. So that's interesting. If she ever wants to go to a gym, she can go there. And unfortunately, Rocco died. Oh my god, I was just about to record and then the poor cat died. I put his urn in the living room. I feel like that's a nice place for him. And then maybe if Pepper ever moves on to the next world, we'll have her and her cats just... <gasps> That'll be cute. We'll just bury Pepper like right there with her cats. Oh. I love that. I don't think Pepper will like it as much as I will, but I love that for her. It is sleeping, but I actually want to wake her up. She's very hungry. So what I want to do is, oh, hold up. We got a promotion. Pleb has been promoted to Dan's video star. Remember when you were the dancer standing with the other eight dancers behind that one dancer who was standing behind all the famous people? Well, those days are long gone, and now you're the dancer standing in front of the other eight dancers behind all the famous people. Call your mom, because you made it to the middle. Aww, that's wonderful. Oh, looks like someone made some toasties, but actually I'm not feeling toasties, so I'm just gonna have, let's have a protein shake. You guys, we are almost done. I'm really excited, and I just want to get the practical things out of the way so we don't have to do it later. One of the first things I want to show you guys and talk about is the fact that we finally sold 100 potions. I did this off screen. I'm not sure if you guys wanted to see it. It wasn't super interesting, but just in case you did, like you had you had an interest in that i'm sorry i kind of took that away from you i already i already done that also i'm gonna send a pleb or bleb i'm not exactly sure upstairs because i have to finish this painting uh we already have another painting hanging in this room this is a portrait of one of the robots, Pleb, Bleb. I think it's Pleb, actually, yeah, it's Pleb. And then I want to have another one of Bleb, and then I think I'm done painting everyone, and I, I, I kind of like the idea of that. We don't have any photos of pomegranate or cherry, but honestly, they're kind of for the next gen, so I'm not really too fussed about it. Like I said the store is pretty much done, so one of the stores is going to be for Rosie when, well, she's old enough. But we kind of have to surprise her with it. And the other store is now a pharmacy. We have to really optimize it and play with it to really make some good money. But I haven't really, honestly, haven't really done that. So I, uh, I, I won't bother, like I won't bore you with this for, for this episode. But just trust me on the fact we sold 100 potions. I'm really excited for this. Maybe for the next season, I'll give her some more stores because I do see her as a business lady. But I just kind of have to think about what kinds of businesses she's going to have though. Cause uh, I'm not really sure. So I um, I'm having Pepper finish this drink. Actually, after this, we're gonna go upstairs, you guys. We're gonna have her work out this. Actually, no, 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 no way. I know this is a big thing, but what I actually want to have her do is search for constellations. We are super close. I think I'm all over the place. I'm just really excited, honestly. <laughs> but we're gonna have Pepper. Let me see where it is. There it is. Okay, hobby enthusiasm. So we need two more to max our sign enthusiasm. So I'm just going to max it once in this episode so I can say I did it. I'm just going to get it out of the way. I don't want to just talk, you know, in this part and only do the practical things, but 
I did feel like I wanted to get the practical things out of the way. I think I've been playing for four or five sim days so you guys uh, can see here that she's already like almost halfway through teenage years but i think that's just fine pepper has eight days so let's say she has about seven days before she becomes an elder and that's probably where we're going to start the next season unless i do end up making her an adult i'm really not sure she needs to go to work she has four days off i'm really not going to do it i am actually just going to like i said max out this enthusiasm of hers and then after this, I'm going to have her work out and I swear, once we've done that, we're pretty much done. She maxed her enthusiasm, she maxed all her skills, which is her lifetime one. She already reached the career that she wanted, she got alien abducted, she sold 100 potions, and I think that's literally all we had to do. So, you guys, I've been working on this for so long, for so freaking long, but yeah, we, we, we've done it. We just- No! Oh no! Oh my god! is about to get abducted again oh my god what is her luck oh no oh gosh well um rip pepper and rip my science enthusiasm hello please universe today not today please pepper just got back from being abducted to wise and now to be safe we are researching science on the computer she's not really having the best time but we're gonna make do with what we have and um, that is the computer pepper so you better get used to it she's not having it is she okay pep she does she really doesn't want to do it does she all right instead of okay okay i'll give it to you girl instead of science we'll work out okay we're super close to doing this we need one more skill how testing me girl you're testing me pepper's testing me <laughs> you should know me better than this girl can we just like oh no pepper suddenly felt good enough how unfortunate for pepper that now she has the energy to do what i want i'm really not sure how long we have to sit and blog about science but honestly oh gosh okay we need one more one more pepper go for it and I'm gonna save because I don't trust this game. Pepper is back, you guys. We are almost done with this step. Pepper, excuse me. <laughs> Can you get back on? Hello. All right, one second. Pepper is um. Pepper is not cooperating with us. While she's in the shower, let's take a look at her interest. Okay, our hobby enthusiasm is finally maxed out. We're done with it. Oh my god <laughs> this game has crashed 50 times it's not a good <laughs> it's just it's just not going great this is like the last episode that i have to film and for some reason it just won't let me do this part so i'm really hoping fingers crossed that we're gonna be able to get this done and i'm gonna just try and end the recording before i save hopefully to make things easier but i can't promise how fast this episode is gonna come out and i cannot promise that this is going to be a very structured video it's probably gonna be very chaotic but anyway we are literally so close to finishing this freaking part we just need one more let's be through this it's six in the morning i really just really 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 don't care God, let me just speed through it i, I kind of want to miss the moment but i also do want to miss the moment <laughs> i just want to get it over with Okay, we're so close. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. Oh, oh, oh my god, <laughs> I thought she was gonna get off. I'm like, Pepper, no. I restarted my game like 20 times for this moment. You better not disappoint me now. <gasps> oh, she got, she, how dare she get off. Bef oh my, get in the way, game. Pep, Pepper, what was wrong with her now? Okay, let's have one cup of coffee. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, no, no. You know what? We're just, gonna, we're just, even if she just sits on that for like three seconds, <laughs> we're gonna get it done. Pepper, you better work. You, oh, oh, we're so close. Okay, we're, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We, we can do this. We can do this. I believe in us. I believe in us. Do you believe in me? I believe in me. I believe in you. I, we all believe in Pepper. Actually, no, Pepper just decided to go to bed. Well, I guess not then, Pepper. <laughs> I guess not. While Pepper is asleep, let me just talk you through some of the things that are happening with Rosie, just so that Pepper can get some sleep and we're also able to check out, you know, someone else for just a second. Rosie has been doing a lot better at school and she's recently been invited to time, which is like really special 
it's really it's really it really means something to her peppers is really happy finally she finally feels like her daughter is finding um being some friends she can hang out with is really important though i don't really know like, long um like how how good this friendship is if it's even meant to be something that's gonna last for a, for for a while know that these friends are the same people that used to bully her when she was younger which they don't talk to her during class time imagine their school to be like quite big and i can imagine the popular kids just having their own little table and their own little setup and she is invited to sit with them at that spot and the only people that really get to see her during the time are the people that are within the group or invited to come and sit with them as well i don't even think um oh should i no 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 no, no i don't want to say anything i was gonna say something i don't want to do it yet or maybe i should do it yet okay how about I just subtly hint, <laughs> very subtly, subt subtly, her relationship with these people might not be genuine. They do gossip behind her back. They never want to be seen with her. Like, they pass each other in the hallway. They can't talk to each other. They don't want to be seen with her. They don't want to be associated with her. However, however, they are her friends are so called her friends and during lunchtime she's the girl she is everything i'm just gonna pop why is sid running sid you, sid wants to be here for for this moment this is a really big moment this is chaotic <laughs> all right oh my god oh my god we did it you guys don't be who's neat Congratulations, Pepper has just fulfilled a lifetime want. As a reward, Pepper will have a platinum aspiration for the rest of her life. She has done it. We have succeeded the challenge. We now have another one. Now she wants the best to be the best in the entertainment career. Honestly, girl. <laughs> honestly. I can actually see her do that, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, we're done with this January. Next out, all of her skills. She is the top of her career, or she reached the top of her career. She has a hair to the next generation. She maxed out her hobby enthusiasm. We did the potions part. We built a robot. We, I pretty much did everything that I can think of. She even got abducted by aliens, I think three times. So this is, like I said, the practical part, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just quickly save my game and then let's get on with the storyline. I wanna set things up for next season. And I'm talking a lot because I'm scared that if I play, the game is gonna crash again. But we'll leave, we'll now, leave. Rosie isn't back home from school yet, but she has found very... Well, maybe I should backtrack a little bit. This is a pile of letters. So you guys might be like, but isn't that the bill? Like, shouldn't you pay the bills? Then I just got a pop up that said you have like a thousand in bills to pay. Excuse me. Hmm? No, I excuse you. This is not the bills. This is post for Rosie, okay? A couple days ago, we um, got a few letters in the mail, and they were actually from Danielle addressed to, well, I guess addressed to Rosie, but it was more so addressed to Pepper. The letter itself wasn't really, let's say, spectacular. There were some things in there that were maybe a bit too personal to share. I damn sure there were things in the letter that were not meant for Rosie's eyes and Pepper left this downstairs and a couple days ago as Rosie was looking for maybe something to wear, maybe a book, maybe her diary, who knows what she was looking for. She noticed these envelopes laying on the table and as Pepper's a neat freak, she really wanted to help her mom out a little bit and she thought she was being really ungrateful for the party and she she, she exaggerated. She hadn't she didn't have control of her emotions. She felt regretful and she's been really helping out her mom a lot. I'm pulling a lot of backstory into the reason why she's actually cleaning. <laughs> like, my sim cannot clean unless I give her a backstory. But you know what I mean. I like to be thorough with things. I can't really help it. Why don't you go eat something before you die? I mean, that is kind of what's coming for you in the next season, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, not yet, bitch. Anyway, as Rosie was cleaning the letter, she noticed that amongst one of the letters was a little card that said happy birthday. And since it wasn't Pepper's birthday and Rosie hadn't received any cards, she naturally assumed it was for her. So she kind of like opened the letter, pulled out the, pulled, pulled out the card, just the card, and... The card basically, let's say it said something like, happy birthday, my sweet daughter. 
I'm so sorry for not being able to be here on your birthday. I hope your mom and I can work things out and we can have a fresh start to our relationship. Something like that. Something that said, it's your mom's fault for us not being together without capital letters. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't exactly a, how do I say it? It wasn't exactly like an attack on her mother. But at the same time, it kind of insinuated that Pepper knew Danielle existed, right? Danielle also knew that was Rosie's birthday. See, Pepper told her that her mother didn't really exist. It wasn't worth her time and she's just gonna end up hurting Rosie like she had in the past. So she thought it was best to hide a card from her mother. However, when Rosie found it, she was absolutely shocked, really, like shocked. Like her mother wrote her card, but Pepper didn't share that with her. Pepper didn't show her that card. Pepper didn't give it to her. Like, why did she not do that? Really confused, Rosie asked to what was going on and she kind of felt betrayed. Pepper's not been able to give her the love, not in all the ways that she wants. Kind of wished that she was able to have a person that she could talk to and that person could have been in her life. But Pepper held her back. Pepper made it seem like there was no choice. It, all along, there was a choice, but she was never given one because, well, Pepper didn't give her one. Really struggling with this idea that her mother exists. Side of her says that she should definitely tell her mother. She should confront her. But another part of her says, I don't know if I want it's to. It's definitely something that you would want to know. So this begs the question, did Rosie read the letter that was attached? In the letter, it basically said something along the lines of, you took away my daughter. Thanks to you, we never had a chance to bond with her. I really want to get to know my daughter. You're not a fit mother. I don't see Danielle writing a sweet letter like, my dearest Pepper, do you remember the day that I cheated on you and then left you with a baby that you didn't want? Mm -hmm. It's me, Danielle. I don't think it's going to be that kind of letter, but there has been, there has to be something in the letter that I think is like shocking. You guys can help me with this if you want. Like, what do you think was in the letter? Like word for word. Basically, little old Danielle found the letter and now she knows that her mother exists and her mother wants contact with her. Rosie is dying to meet someone that can relate to her and to give her some comfort and some warmth and some motherly feelings. Pepper's not gonna give it. I don't know. I think but, she, but, 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 but. she has other things on her mind right now. She got a text somewhere during getting the deliveries. Hmm, getting some um, delivery done. She got a text message from one of the friends that said to her, hey, I heard that a guy likes you and uh, we were planning on meeting up and I, I was just wondering if you wanted to like what 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 would you think if we all met up at around dinner time and invite over this guy you can see if you like him make sure to wear something nice that was the that, that was the biggest clue make sure to wear something nice be there on time she is really how do i say it i think she's really nervous and we're actually is gonna go over to talk to her and let's just say that in this moment rosie is actually asking her for permission to go out they're already arguing Oh my god, Pepper's trying to talk to her and she's just really grumpy. She's asking her mother if she's allowed, allowed to go out with some friends. And Pepper, of course, says yes because, well, obviously, Pepper's like really happy that he's finally going out with friends. She has friends. Pepper is so supportive. Pepper's really happy for her. She has no idea what Rosie really thinks or feels or about the card. But in this moment, she chooses to put this past her because of the joy that this new outing is going to bring, this new friendship and potential lover. She just cannot imagine who has a crush on her, who wants to meet her. I do want to know a lot of things, but I actually wanted to say what I do know is that I want her to wear a nice dress and then we're going to save the game again. Again, and then we're gonna go over to our park and uh, park. You guys are gonna be like, hmm, why do we go here for our dates? It's crazy, guys. Who wants to meet up at this place at this hour? I have no idea. This was a lot more complicated to set up than I initially thought, but here we are. Rosie has met up at the graveyard. Let me just, let me show you guys. We're at a graveyard. It is rather late, but I am also keeping it on pause just to explain a couple things because we don't want to be sitting here until 5 a.m. And you know my game is also very temperamental lately. I've tried to record this last episode for four days and my game absolutely hates me. Rosie has met up with Lucas and initially she was invited over by her friends to come to the cemetery or the graveyard, however you want to call it. It's practically, I think, the same thing, right? She didn't expect Lucas to be here. She, well, practically came here for him. 
Jana and what's her name again? Jana and Mandy kind of well, they kind of told her to come here because Lucas was really into her. something he wanted to share with her. But oh my god, what is happening right now? As she is sitting on the bench, Mandy comes over. Lucas and her had a few minutes together until Mandy and Jana also showed up. I mean, they were supposed to meet up, you know, together. But uh, she was kind of enjoying herself with Lucas and she's not even that interested in Lucas but since they kind of lured her here under the pretense of, well, you know, her- why? Why Why are you going home? Why? Why? Lucas, get yourself here, excuse me. Lucas had something he wanted to share with Rosie. He wanted to tell her something really important and I wonder what it is. Honestly, I know what it is. He supposedly likes Rosie and he is about to confess his feelings for her. The girls are hyping her up and saying, go for it, we're here for you. Told you it would come, not a word was allowed. It feels a little hesitant, but the encouragement of her two new friends. She is willing to be a little bit daring, and um, she wants to see where it, where, where it's going. Recent, <laughs> recently made friends, or so-called friends. I'm not gonna say anything yet. You guys can just decide for yourself after this episode but i don't really think they're her real friend lucas is surprised to see rosie's acting a little strange and since he called her out here she expected more from him but you know maybe she's a little bit nervous he is about to confess to her i mean that's pretty much why she's here right because he's going to confess to her now jana and oh my gosh what are these two doing looking very worried i wonder if they're plotting something and that's why they're holding each other's hand oh my gosh i I don't know what this look is. As Rosie is talking to Lucas, Jana and her sister are laughing and gossiping about the two because they've set up this little plan of theirs and you're just really, really, really excited for this all to unravel. They've been planning this moment for weeks now and they cannot <laughs> imagine this playing out any better. Jana and Mandy have, like I said, been planning this all along and they've tricked Rosie into coming here under the pretend that, you know, Lucas is going to admit that he has feelings for her. Whereas Lucas has come here because the girls asked them to. You know where this is going, right? After being hyped up by her friends and oh my god oh my god he wait he's into her i have no idea what's happening right after some encouragement from her friends rosie decides that it's taking way too long and she's actually way more excited than she thought she would not really into lucas but the whole prospect of a guy confessing to her and her potentially losing well not losing but having her first kiss tonight is making her crazy she wants to die full speed and I think she is going to just initiate this first kiss. She, despite not liking him, wants the attention. And the fact that this guy is here, her friends cheering her on, she's wearing her nicest dress. I don't know. I, I feel like the mood taking her, she's gonna go for it. I think this is like one of those moments where it's not per se about who you're with or why you're doing what you're doing. You're just doing it because you want to do it. And I think, like I said, Rose is having one of these moments. So Rose is actually gonna go in for her first kiss, actually. All right, we're gonna go in for our first kiss, you guys. We have our friends watching. We're in the middle of a cemetery. It's like the best place for a kiss. <laughs> I have a mod and it lets you summon sims and I had to make him selectable to play with him but unfortunately we can't really have her initiate the first kiss so we're just gonna have to play pretend. Lucas is losing his mind. He cannot believe he came here. He's getting wet from the rain and he's down here with Rosie, one of the least favorite people and now she's trying to swim and he's basically like really upset. You're a crazy lady. Why are you trying to kiss me? Like what's going on? Why did you even want to see me? That's coming over to Rosie. She cannot believe that the dumbass fell for her little trick she embarrassed herself in front of everyone and she recorded it on her phone and she's going to make sure to show it to everyone at school tomorrow she cannot believe rosie fell for this and that she's actually got the footage of rosie trying to kiss this guy and this guy totally not being into it rosie feels absolutely betrayed but but John is just having the best time of our life. She just cannot believe that she fell for this. Unfortunately, my Sims are all crying. 
Yes, you, okay? <laughs> my sims are not my sims are not working for the storyline, you guys. Might have a friend in Mandy. She comes over to her and explains the situation, but Mandy pretty much tells her to talk to the hand and that she really well <laughs> she she really played herself she was really dumb for thinking that these two were her friends this guy really liked her sisters are really pleased with themselves and they cannot stop laughing about how dumb she looked when she got rejected by this guy it doesn't really bother them that they've tricked her like this she feels like she deserves it. She deserves it for being so weird and for not being like them. She is honestly really, really, really pleased with herself and she cannot imagine this plan worked out any better. Like I said, they're gonna post a video on Simstagram or Sims YouTube, SimsTube maybe. And um, I'm just, I'm just really like, oh my god, I just cannot imagine what this is going to do to her, to her self-esteem. The girls are super, super pleased with each other and I think at this point they're probably just going to leave and I would do other things but it's quite late and I think the girls have what they wanted. Even Lucas is making his way down down back home, down the road, way back home. Lucas is going home and all she can do is kind of watch him between the sunflowers and feel bad about herself. She tried to call him and apologize but instead of looking back he decided to just keep on walking and not believe what has happened and instead of going home she rather just sit here and kind of think about what just happened she got played by her, the people that she thought were her friends and now she's left with a feeling of being totally unworthy and not belonging anywhere she was already not in the greatest mood because of what happened but oh my god can you girls just leave i cannot believe they're still here rosie got all dressed up for this moment and she put on the nicest dress that she had she went for a kiss even though she didn't like the boy just because she wanted she wanted to fit in the pressure of her friends the fact that her friends were encouraging her and the fact that it felt like it was the right thing to do it there's just so much going on in her mind and she even though she doesn't look like it she's really upset okay she's really upset and these girls just won't leave her alone everywhere she goes they keep on following her making sure to make her feel even more horrible gossiping behind her back saying look at her she really fell for it we're gonna post this tonight right yeah, I just gotta like come up with a cool caption. I don't know, something like that. As Rosie is standing there trying to distract herself, and then as she's looking down as well, she she feels she feels rather sad, but also very lucky with this one coin in her hand. There's nothing more in this moment that she wants than friends and family and love. And as she tosses the coin down into the well, she makes a wish. To these people actually spawned. I think she, okay, maybe, may, maybe she, I think she might be seeing things at this point as she is wishing for, for these people to come into her life. She also kind of vows to take revenge on the people that have hurt her tonight. I'm just gonna pretend like these people went home because seriously, every time I look at Rosie, these, they come back. They just won't leave me alone. See, there she is again. Just can we just pretend she left home for the story's sake? Thank you very much. Let's just say, as she is looking down into the well, she vows to herself that she's going to take revenge and nobody's ever going to hurt her like this again. And she's going to become the most beautiful woman in the world. Everyone is going to love her and nobody's going to ever hurt her again. She walks back to her mother's car, leaving the graveyard behind. She vows to herself to never let this happen. She's going to make you wish to never mess with her and it might not look like it right now, but this is the start of a big moment for her. She is going to turn into someone that you cannot deny a woman that is so beautiful like every man and every woman would want to be with her every person in her school is going to want to be friends with her because she's so beautiful she's so cool she's everything you want and in this moment she vows to be that person she's never going to let this happen to her ever again and I really imagine this to be the moment where she realizes that she has no friends no family to rely on and she's going to have to do this by herself. I think this is going to shape her into the little lady that she's going to have to be for the next gen. She's going to have to be Sarah Romancer and I think the fact that she doesn't belong anywhere 
it's really going to grow her into, into that person rosie got a text from stacy and stacy is actually the sister of lucas and stacy sent her a link and basically said hey is this you despite everything she clicked on the link and quickly realized that it was a video of her and lucas well trying to kiss is a big word but let's just say it's a pretty awkward video and it was very obviously noticeable that that was rosie in the video she was leaning in to kiss lucas and lucas was well freaking out and pushing her away saying what are you doing freak why did you call me in the middle of the night why did you want to meet at the graveyard like you're so weird you're so weird should have never i should have never come here and then in the background you hear the two girls after laugh. the video we're just gonna pretend rosie's sleeping because there's no actual nap animation but let's say she's sleeping after coming back home after that bath she wants to do is lay in bed and sleep it off she doesn't want to do anything else and i think that's exactly what she's going to do maybe the morning has some better news but for now it's like her entire world collapsed and how is she ever going to show herself it's unimaginable to her we'll just see how things are in the morning she's definitely not reading okay it just looks like she's reading but she's definitely really sad okay <laughs> after what it seems to be an endless night pepper has taken rosie on a very early morning trip to rosie's new store however rosie doesn't know this yet tupper has been planning the surprise and she's trying to make up for her birthday party that didn't really go so well hoping to cheer her up she left this surprise till now and she's hoping that rosie is going to be just as excited good team i'm so excited i can't even talk anymore but i hope rosie is going to be just as excited as pepper is not much this is what we're working with and if you guys remember the old store you will recognize this is it ex oh, wait ooh, ooh. it is exactly the same store that we had but i just did some minor renovations to the building and made it more red i know it's not really much red right now but it's gonna get there okay <laughs> it's, it's gonna get there i need to do some play testing but let's not focus on that too much pepper wanted to uh have rosie try some of the items on the menu and um to start out she has uh, made some pancakes that are going to fit really well with this theme she made some breakfasty food some pub foods or maybe just a really expensive restaurant honestly whatever rosie wants to do with it is completely entirely up to her but for now she's been thinking of making it into something like a diner or something like a pub whatever she wants to do with it she wanted to have rosie taste test some of the food and see what she thought and rosie has absolutely no idea that her mother has this planned for her she just thinks that her mother wanted to show her a new business and you know include her in that rosie's actually kind of happy to be distracted even though she's still feeling a bit resentful towards her mother whole birthday car situation however she is just so mentally drained that she cannot bring herself to even care about it. you know to really think about anything right now she kind of feels numb and tired and upset and she's trying not to let pepper know because she knows that she could cry and feel sad but pepper is not emotionally there for her it's very sad i still feel sad when i think about it i love pepper but pepper is not a parental figure pepper has never been a sim that wanted children she's done her best to raise rosie i'm not gonna say pepper did a horrible job because she definitely did not she gave her everything she needed she gave her a house clothing food anything she wanted she got when it comes to emotional support and affection pepper like i said many times is not the kind of person she's not the kind of sim that is able to do that it's not what she grew up with it's not in her nature she's grumpy she's cold she's serious it's just what she's like it's really hard for rosie to come to her with problems especially after it happened during her party and how cold her mother responded and it's gone to the point where rosie wants this affection she wants this she wants to tell Pepper what happened, she wants to share it, but she also knows that it's more painful to get rejected twice, twice in a short amount of time than to, you know, keep it to yourself and just deal with it yourself. And she's really learning the hard way that, unfortunately, she's going to have to deal with things like this by herself. She has to, she has, she has to, she has no choice. And the more that she's sitting here with Pepper trying to make some small talk and trying to forget what happened and chat about the food just some like some really small talk she she wishes more and more and more that if things were different maybe maybe she's longing for danielle in this moment she's longing for this contact of a person that has interest in her but she's never really met before and just no idea who it is and it's it's kind of exciting as well and the thought of being able to 
talk about all those things with her to be able to have that motherly warmth even though right now she's not getting it from the one that raised her. I feel like she's being overwhelmed with everything that's happened lately and it's making her crave that, that parental motherly love even more and more that she's been laying in bed trying to figure out what to do with herself and and feeling bad and upset and betrayed and embarrassed and all these negative feelings she keeps thinking about the postcard or about the birthday card and about the sweet words of danielle it all seem to point that pepper tried to keep her away from her real mother and you know she doesn't fully understand what has happened she just can't comprehend it because she wasn't there she was way too young However, she does grasp the situation at least a little bit and she knows that Pepper has not been honest with her and Pepper is not able to give her what she wants. Maybe in this moment, she makes another vow to herself. Maybe she's going to seek out the love that she feels like she deserves. Pepper's not going to give it to her. Then maybe, you know what? She should just forget about Pepper. Maybe she should just try to to go in and meet with her real mother. Can you believe I've been recording so much? I'm running out of space. In this moment, Danielle is really winning her over, but she does have some respect towards her mother, at least a little bit. And despite what's happened, she does feel a tremendous love for Pepper. And in this moment, she decides, okay, you know what? I'm going to tell my mother that I want to meet with my other mother. I'm gonna tell her I found the card. I'm gonna confess to everything and tell her what's happened. And if she responds positively, if she supports my decision, then maybe she's not as cold-hearted. Maybe she didn't do this on purpose. Maybe she's still the mother that I think she is. Maybe I'm not betrayed by everyone in my life. Pepper ends up not responding in a positive way, which I don't think she will do. You know, I, I can very well see this just adding to more frustration. She's just talking to her mother about Danielle and she's saying, hey mom, I found I found the card and I just I just I just need to know. I just I just need to know. Did you know that my mom was out there? Did you know that she wanted to see Pepper's taken back. She's like, what do you mean? Card? What card? Yeah, I found your birthday card or my birthday card. The one that mom sent, but you said that mom wasn't around anymore. Pepper is kind of hesitant what to tell her. No, she just pulls her in for a hug and says, I'm so sorry, you had to see this. We never have to talk about Danielle ever again. This was the logic side. I'm so sorry, my hard drive is so full. I'm having to write things to my desktop. Pepper's logic side is kicking in and is saying, I need to protect her. Danielle is bad news. We're not gonna deal with this. I I, I regret that she saw this. It's my. And she's trying to solve it. She thinks that Rosie wants this problem gone, where in fact she doesn't. Pepper really have to. Oh my god. Oh damn. The moment Pepper is trying to problem solve, Rosie is saying, oh, What the heck? I can't believe you're acting this childish. Now you don't want me to see my mom. Like, why not? Why, what's, so, what's so bad about her? Maybe you're the bad guy. Letter it said that you kept her from seeing me. Maybe she's been wanting to see me all along, but you just wanted to keep it for yourself. Well, I did kind of, yeah, because your mom is bad news. Mother is seriously one hell of a woman, and it would be way better for everyone if you just didn't think too much about her. Which doesn't sit well with Rosie. You don't support me. I can't believe that you would hide things from me. I can't believe you're just like everyone else. Everyone lies to me. Everyone betrays me. I don't have any real friends. I don't even have a real mom. I'm adopted. You know, we don't even look like each other. I don't look like you. I don't have your hair color. I'm not as smart as you either. And I definitely don't give a shit about your business. We're taking it really back. She's like, what? I love how I'm making a heated argument while my sim standing there like... Pepper is really frustrated and kind of getting, well, she's getting really grumpy. How dare you talk to me like this? Do you even know where we stand? This is your business. This is the gift that I arranged for you, for my daughter, for the special girl in my life. Only special girl in my life. Thanks to herself. <laughs> Are you not grateful that I got this? And Rosie is even more pissed off. To be grateful, you purchase a business for me. Did you ever think about what I want in life? Do you ever think about anyone else but you? Did you ever consider that I may want something else than the business? Maybe I don't want to work all day. Maybe I don't want to marry a robot. Maybe I don't want to be a businesswoman. Maybe I just want to be left by someone for once. Maybe I just want to belong somewhere for once. I can totally imagine her saying something like that. In this moment, wow, I say vow a lot, but I think in this moment, she's determined to find what's good for her. I'm not exactly sure how um, things are going to end with Rosie. In this moment, she's going to storm off and leave Pepper hanging with this business. And for the disco ball in her hand, she looks 
exactly how I wish she would look. And here it is, you guys. This is the ending that I had in mind for the not so bear. Everything's broken. Uh, things are just solely messed up. But most importantly, I feel like this is the best way to head over to the second season because it definitely explains Rosie and why she's going to turn into the woman that she needs to become for the next season. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll do my thank yous in another one just because I'm running out of disc space. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this entire first season. I will see you guys hopefully in the next one.